Hello again, everybody. I'm Scott Casper, special guest in studio today, the founder of Culture House Books, the founder of Win Magazine, and the founder of the Hodge Award. He joins us today. Does Mike Chapman. Mike, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. The Hodge Award is a, an annual award that is presented to the best of the best in wrestling. Let's talk about its origins. We go back to 1994 when first you and your wife Bev were thinking about this, but the name had not been established at this point. And uh, talk to us about the origin of the Hodge. Well, Scott, first of all, thanks for having me. I love to talk about wrestling. I love to talk about it with somebody as knowledgeable as you. Um, I've been to 45 NCAA wrestling tournaments. I've always loved the sport. I've written 28 books, 16 about the sport of wrestling. I created, as you mentioned, Win Magazine and the Dan Gable Museum in Waterloo. I can remember reading about the, Dan, uh, the, the Heisman Trophy right. uh, and then watching a TV special about the Heisman Trophy. This was back in 93 and 94. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if wrestling had something similar to that, something we could give to the co top college wrestler in the United States every year. So just out of the blue, I said to Bev, we were sitting there, I said, I'm going to do it. And she said, do what? And I said, I'm going to create a trophy similar to the Heisman Trophy. And she just smiled and said, okay. And then the next thing I had to do was decide what it was going to look like. And I wanted it to be very unique in the way it looked. And it's got a long stem on it. And I did that on purpose, Scott, so when we awarded it to somebody, they could grab it and hold it aloft. And I thought that would be neat. So it had that unique look to it, and then I had to have a name for it. Mm -hmm. And there were four or five different names I considered uh, to put on it. But my first book in 1976 was called Two Guys Named Dan, and it was about Dan Gable and Dan Hodge. And Dan, uh, I've known Dan Gable since he was 15 and think the world of him, but Dan's gotten so much publicity and a lot of stuff named after him. I thought, I'm going to name this after Dan Hodge. And here's another reason, Scott. The pin had kind of fallen out of uh, popularity when the tech fall came in. It seemed like so many college wrestlers were working for the tech fall. Yeah. And I wanted to put an emphasis back on the pin. It's like the Grand Slam home run in baseball. It's like the knockout in boxing. And, and I think that's what most wrestlers should aim for is the pin. Well, Dan Hodge has the highest pinning percentage for a career of any college wrestler. So Dan and I, Hodge and I have been friends ever since I wrote two guys named Dan, and I called him up and got him on the phone, chatted with him a little bit and said, Dan, I've got something I want to ask you. I want to create a trophy, and I want to put your name on it. And you know Dan Hodge very well, too, and Dolores, and they're just wonderful people. And he was very humble and said, golly, are you sure? And oh, my goodness, yes. And I said, do you want to think about it for a couple of days and let me know if you're okay with it? He said, no, Mike, you have my permission. So the Dan Hodge Trophy was born right then and there. So Dan Hodge, obviously uh, one of the greatest of the greats uh, in his shortened career, comparatively speaking to today's uh, modern day athletes, uh, was able to not only give his blessing, but provide the inspiration for the, the award and what it stood for. What are the requirements to be able to even be qualified to win the Hodge Award? Well, we, we have seven criteria, and Brian Van Clay, who was the publisher of Win Magazine, he bought it from me uh, quite a few years ago, and I'm still heavily involved. I write a column for it. And Brian and I have a great working relationship. He's just a delight to work with. And we came up with the criteria. The first five or six years, I did it all by myself. I had a group of friends that I would call. Uh, you were on that list, uh, other people that I respected, and would call them up and say, who do you think should win the Hodge Trophy, and I took it very seriously. I kept the figures myself, uh, but then we decided it needed to be more formal the more it grew. And we think at this point, Scott, that we can safely say over a million people have seen the Hodge Trophy presented in person. The reason being because we always give it to the wrestler at the banquet, the wrestling banquet at the end of the season, and then that next fall, the athletic department presents it at halftime of a football game. For instance, Logan Stieber got his last year at Ohio State, and there were 110,000 people there at the game. So think about the impact then, and the Associated Press calls it the Heisman Trophy of Wrestling. Mm -hmm. And the Heisman Trophy actually has their own website, and on there is a segment where they talk about other trophies that admit they're modeled after that. And the Hodge Trophy, the last I looked, was the number one you got to like that. You yeah, gotta, the yeah. number one source they use. So the criteria was uh, your seasonal record. Right. You have to have won a national title. 
at the end of the year. Then we look at pins, we look at domination. Those are the four main criteria. Then we have what we call tiebreakers. If everything looks very, very even, we look at intangibles like heart, competition, sportsmanship, and things like citizenship. that. Citizenship. Citizenship. But, but basically the big four, you're, you have to have won a national title, season record. The amount of pins is, is important. It doesn't always go to the best, to the top pinner, because maybe somebody pins 31 people and has three or four losses and done, didn't win the Nationals. They could probably win the Wade Shallis Award mm -hmm. for the best pinner, but they're not going to win the Hodge Trophy. So it's just grown and grown and grown, and, and to see the way it's expanded has been wonderful. And then ASICS came aboard as our sponsor four years ago. Neil Duncan and, and Nick Gallo are just tremendous to work with, mm -hmm. and Bill Farrell was a dear friend of mine. So I just, every time we give the Hodge Trophy out, I think of Bill Farrell sure. and how much he meant to the sport of wrestling. Mike, thank you so very much. A well-known author, but I call you a good friend. I appreciate that. Thanks, Scott. Feeling is mutual. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for watching.